So, how do you avoid fraudulent, suspicious, and or malicious clients and how do you turn them down gently? Let's talk about that on this video. If this is the first time that you are on my channel, my name is Mary and I am a work from home mom. If you want to learn how to work from home, looking to balance life and career, or you are just looking for advice about love, work, adventure, and lifestyle, then this is the channel for you. So keep on watching. Guys, eto na. So, I, I've been applying and trying out these job posts at onlinejobs.ph and I know at some point, these websites do filter clients. However, minsan may nakakalusot. And just this evening, I saw this job post and passed ng rate $2,300 and the job post was for a spa manager. Now, there's just two description na sinabi niya. And I was like, okay, bakit tinatamad naman yung client? Bakit hindi? Sige, apply tayo. Nag-apply ako. Wala pang five minutes. I received a contact invite on my Skype account. And that's where I saw my red flags. So, ano nga ba itong mga red flags na to? Guys, always remember that you have to do background check with your clients. And they have to do the same thing. So, let's check the conversation first. The name of the client client is George Fadi. Location niya is UAE. So, the first thing um, that I noticed was, let's start the conversation first with, Hi, Miss Mary. So, okay. Um, Hi, George. May I know where you got my Skype ID? You contacted me on online jobs. Oh, great. For the spa management position? Yes, madam. Red flag number one. When he said yes, madam, madam is rarely used when a client is talking to a possible virtual assistant. So, clients would normally call you by your first name. Sometimes they would even ask, how would you like to be called? For example, my full name is Mary Rose, but um, I prefer being called Mary. So, yun, something like that. Something to that effect. But using madam is like, mm, okay. And then, so there goes the conversation. The next question I have was, the job post didn't have much info on it, but since I have vast management experience, I applied for the job. How would you like to discuss the position? Keep the tone professional. Even though you see red flags, sige lang. His answer was, and ito yung medyo alarming sa akin, no? I'm a rich man hiring staff. Using the word, Rich is like, eh, sabi nga ni, sino yung pinapanood ni Casey Neistat? If you say that you're cool, then you're not cool. If, if you have to brag about something, then that simply means that you don't really have it. You probably have some, but you don't have it. So, that's just one cue. So, when he said, I'm a rich man, eh, yun na. Medyo na-alarma ako doon. So, Again, keep the tone professional. Um, he said, I will uh, open foot spa. The spa manager will give me courses how to do spa and how to manage for six months. So I had to ask, and this foot spa will be online because it's on the job description. Or will there be a physical salon? It will be physical. I want to study giving giving the giving best foot spa i'm shy but it's good profits again there's another red flag so una the madam second is i'm a rich man the third is it's good profits it's like okay i understand that you're you're willing to give this much to learn but one thing you have to remember is for if a client is if it's a legit client what they want is to find someone who would actually fit the position someone who can really help them build their brand someone who can help them with a the company someone who'll be there to assist them not someone who will teach them how to do a give foot spa or yeah foot massage or something like that diba so when he offered but it's good profits i'm like ah i'm like oh okay lang ko ng pera pero uh, hindi ko magets <laughs> i just can't i can't even <laughs> 
<laughs> Pero hindi, totoo. Um, oh, by the way, segue lang. I am using the H370 headset I recently purchased. I reviewed this. I think I need to do further review just because ang pangit ng quality ng sound do sa unang video. But if you've watched it, comment kay Jan. Let me know if you want another review or so. And this is how it sounds like when you are using it with OBS. So, balik tayo sa topic. Um, I had to ask because the information about the company is not on the job post and normally, legit clients will post um, kung hindi man yung pangalan ng company ha, but the, the, the background. They will give you an overview of what they expect. How would you play your role in, in the company? What are the expectations? What are your responsibilities? So, Again, red flag, but okay. I had to ask, where is it located? And what's the name of the spa? I did not open. I will open in Manila, in Paris. In Paris? Uh, oh, Paris. Two branches. It's Paris, mahal. Sabi ng sa gossip girl. <laughs> Kinokorekt tayo ni Mr. Ha? Huh? Sabi sa gossip girl, it's Paris. <laughs> so... And then, ito yung pinakang, um, ito yung point na, I know, no na ako dito. So, basically, you're looking for someone to help you put up the business. And then, he said, and teach me how to do best food therapy. Guys! I'm like, seriously? Una sa lahat, I enjoy a good foot massage. Pero, hindi, hindi ako marunong. Pangalawa, Red flag again because you haven't even asked me about how I can help you build your company. What are my experience? And dun ko na nga sinimula na eh, kasi syempre, during your interview, you want to be able to drive the conversation and you want to be able to show the client that you are a perfect fit. Hindi man lang yun yun. Eto na. Nung sinabi niya na and teach me how to do best foot therapy. That's it. I've decided no. I can't. I'm not gonna take this any longer. That's pretty much it. Another example which is not related to this um, client, this person, was when I applied same platform, online jobs PH. The position was for... Nahanap ko. Dinilit ko na yata. Basta, it was for a real estate VA. However, ito naman yung napansin ko. So, I applied. After applying, ang haba, parang one and a half hours na ako dun sa exam nila. And I don't, parang survey siya. So, may andan na naman si gut feeling na, pucha, ano ba to? Ang tagal ta Sorry for the French. But, pucha, ang tagal-tagal. Ano ba yan? Parang, hindi na, hindi na connected dun sa ina-applyan kong work. Yung tinitake ko na exam. And then, eto, hindi ko tinapos. The following day, they sent me another message saying, Congratulations, you passed. And I'm like, ah, uh, hindi ko tinapos yung exam. Bakit? Paano ako nakapasa? So, nag-isip na ako. Ngayon, binalikan ko, the following day, binalikan ko yung application ko. Chinect ko yung name ng company. Very, very simple research. I typed the name of the company dun sa Google. And boom! Ayan na. Ang daming write-ups, ang daming feedback with regards to this company. It looks like they've rebranded but they're the same company. Australian company siya. They get information from applicants. They're more of a recruitment agency but they keep the profiles on their system. And then, Andun lang siya if someone from a certain college would need answer to a survey, dun, nilalagay nila. So, guys, Google is your best friend, especially when you're working from home. Huwag kayong matakot mag-research tungkol dun sa kumpanya na ina-applyan ninyo. As a matter of fact, nandun pa yan sa tip ko about how to pass or how to ace an interview na prior to an interview, research about the company. At the very least, know what the company is doing and how they run their business because it's very important that you have a little background about the company and the position you are applying for. So, yun. Um, in short, nakita ko na, ah, that's another way that they 
they make money out of applications that we send out online. One other example I have was this client na ang job post niya was for a badass virtual assistant and the job position, yung job post niya ang nakalagay is, ang rate is $800 a month, which is okay. And then, nung nakausap ko na sila, na interview, uh, actually, wala pang interview, they wanted to set up an interview, bigla nilang sinabi, isiningit lang nila isang, ang haba, di ba, ng dis- description. Pero dun sa buong description, um, well, rip, Apply nila yun dun sa message ko. Sa buong response nila, may isang line dun nakasulat that the rate would be $2 an hour. So guys, make sure that you read through each line. Kailangan matalikti kayo. Attention to details. Because sometimes, alam mo yung nag-invest ka ng napakahabang oras mo sa isang bagay, tapos wala rin naman pala. Diba? Diba? So, um, going back, how do you turn them down easily without them actually being offended kahit nakaka-offend na yung yung ginagawa nila but you know professional tayo sir when he said when George said then this position up uh, and teach me how to do best foot therapy i told him then this position is not for me thank you for the opportunity but i am going to have to pass best of luck what are you looking for? I'm like, okay, ikaw yung nag so you have to know what I'm looking for. You know that I'm looking for a job. Very, very simple. Wala nang reply. Hit view profile and hit block contact. Goodbye. That's pretty much it. Guys, you don't have to invest a lot of time do sa isang kliyente na sa palagay nyo naman na hindi nyo, una sa lahat, hindi nyo gusto yung position. Um, pangalawa, if you feel that you will not grow with the company, not because kailangan kailangan mo ng pera at kailangan kailangan mo ng trabaho, itatanggapin mo na lahat. No. Kasi kagaya niyan, kung may, naka, may newbie na makatagpo ng client na kagaya niya, na kailangan kailangan ng pera, and hindi man lang tinanong ng background, I would probably be tempted to say yes. Kasi nga, kailangan ko ng trabaho. Eh, kung newbie ako, gusto ko matuto, hindi ko alam na may mga ganito palang klaseng tao. ba? So, again, tip, look for red flags, research about the company, wag kayong magpadala, at wag kayong maging marupok. Okay? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And if you feel that someone might benefit from this video, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell button so that you'll be notified if we upload new videos, which normally happens around 7 a.m. every day. We'll see you on our next video. Salamat po!